I got into production predominantly because I never really liked practicing my instruments a lot. I, I liked like learning about things and I could play a lot of different instruments, but I never wanted to be, or I didn't really want to be the person standing on stage and playing the music. I wanted to be the person creating it behind the scenes. And that could be picking up a guitar or playing MIDI keyboard on a record, but I didn't necessarily want to be the person that was standing on the stage playing the music. So uh, I did play in bands and things like that, but I really got into like the behind the scenes being a, being a producer. I think the creation of Spring Garden Records is all about experiential learning, giving students real world credits when they're here at school, actual albums, actual releases that are being press, you know, promoted and have press behind them. That that's the biggest thing for us. It's also a promotional tool for our department, of course, but also art and, and photo and, and video and stuff. We really want to incorporate as many of the art students and the photography students and the video students in these endeavors as well. Music artists need music videos, artists need press photos, all those kinds of things. So if students want to get involved and they want to have those credits on their resumes when they leave here, I think Spring Garden Records is a perfect way to do that. It's not just about selling music or anything like that, it's about giving students the opportunity to have those experiences and their resume looks, looks better when they leave here. Spring Garden Records is a label that I'm now the director of and Dr. David Thomas here at the college is the manager of. It's a full-fledged record label that's just being run out of the music department and the Office of Strategic Initiatives here at the college and we're signing artists. Some are students, some are alum, some are just people who think what we're doing is cool and want to be involved, like artists here in the Philadelphia area. Musically, it's a no holds barred type of thing. We don't really necessarily care what genre of music it is, just that the artist fits into what our goals are and the overall kind of communal atmosphere that we're trying to create with it. I think that a lot of the arts programs here at the college are super strong, but a lot of people don't realize that outside of the students that are actively here. So I think it's gonna be an advertising platform that isn't just directly what the college is trying to advertise and, and any day. It's for us to showcase what the students are doing and have it be, you know, an external global voice for, for the, the work that's being done. When you release music, you're releasing that globally. And so people in Bangladesh can be listening to these records and they see, oh, what's the label that's releasing it? Spring Garden Records. Oh, go to the website. Oh, that's part of the Community College of Philadelphia. Oh, that's really cool. They're doing this here. And I think that that's, that's one of the most intriguing things about it. I think we, we have, we've done a little bit of research. We might be the first community college to do this, like actually have a full-fledged record label. Some other four-year colleges have done it in the past or are doing it. But we think we're the first community college, which is also so kind of cool. And Philadelphia has such a thriving musical history. A lot of our students who are involved in the label as artists and engineers and producers, they're mostly Philadelphia residents who are gonna stay here. A lot of them are gonna make the arts community, the arts community here in Philly a better one for everyone. I think that you have to be madly passionate about to be even remotely successful. You have to have a crazy work ethic. You have to be dedicated 24 seven to your craft. So does Spring Garden Records give the students a better opportunity to have experience? Yeah, does it give students a platform to springboard into bigger and better things? Yeah, does it give them the ability to have a central hub for their creativity and their output? Yeah, but a lot of the work has to be done by them too. You also have to be proactive about making that happen. I think that we are giving the students the ability to showcase their work and have actual experience before they, they go into the real world. I would tell them that they definitely have to have a unique voice. Copycats don't make it very far in the industry. You really have to be able to do something or share something or express something that other people aren't. Both aspects of being unique and interesting musically or being able to tell a story that's different, that's interesting, that's engaging to people that not everyone else is doing. And I think that, that in the long run, you'll have a more healthy and you know, fulfilling career if you do that.